welcome all in today's lecture we are going to discuss about dhcp server dhcp as the name suggests dhcp server stand for dynamic host configuration protocol what is the responsibility of dhcp server first understand this dhcp server will consist pool of ip addresses so when ever any device will request for the ip address it is the responsibility of dhcp server to provide ip to that device at run time so understand how we configure the dhcp server in the network so first uh, i have taken this scenario for explaining this lab we will start from the router configuration so always remember the ip address given to the router interfaces is always static why static because if somebody want to remotely log in ip never will be changed it's always remain same so the router interface which is connected to this network is fast ethernet 0/0 uh, for this lab scenario we are taking network address 10.0 so i always provide first valid ip to my router interface or default gateway so i will provide ip address with the help of command line no enable config t in the global configuration mode select the interface interface f0/0 now ip address what ip address i want to provide 192.168.10.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and for switching on the port no shut now you can check the router ip addressing is done go to the server now this is my dhcp server so always remember the first step click on the server go on the desktop go on the ip configuration and provide these three things to the server so what is the ip address of the server 192.168.10.2 you can take any valid ip from given range what is the subnet mask what is the default gateway 192.168.10.1 this is the first step first step provide ip address to the server second step move on the services select the dhcp service now every pc for the communication every pc required what things every pc required ip address after the ip address what is required subnet mask default gateway and dns server right now we are going to provide three things ip address subnet mask and default gateway so what is the default gateway the address given to the router interface and i have given the address 192.168.10.1 till now i have not configured dns servers remain this field blank save it now you can check default gateway this is starting address is 192.168.10.0 ending address is to uh, subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 with the help of ip address and subnet mask it is able to calculate how many host 255 users or you can say 256 user are existing because counting is always starting from zero don't forget to switch it on switch it on click on save now close now go to the pc desktop ip configuration we required these fields so you can see that by default static is ticked but i want ip address with the help of dhcp protocol so click on dhcp now you can check 
192.168.10.3 and we received the message of DSCP request successful. If you are receiving this successful message, means your configuration is correct. Otherwise, now go to the second PC, desktop, IP configuration, DSCP done. Desktop, IP configuration, DSCP done. Again, desktop, IP configuration, DSCP done. Now, this is the working of DSCP server. Thanks. If you have any kind of question, put your question in the comments box.